really exciting time bringing in bringing in players. Um, and I've heard great things about the clubs from from other players. So um, yeah, just just really excited. I think this is a next step in my my career. Um, it's great to to come into a club where, where you know a few people. Um, and obviously being at Bournemouth with Ben uh, with the promotion with him. So yeah, it'd be great to be back playing with him. And obviously end as well through through the international with Ireland. So. Um, yeah, it's great to, great to have them familiar faces when you come in. I think a lot a lot of the new lads, a lot of our, us new lads have been, like it's a, it's a welcome and changing room and, and the lads, like, they've, they've been brilliant with us. Um, and there's a lot of, there's plenty of new faces here, so there's a, there's a freshness to the, to the dressing room. And with the championship being so relentless, me and Mark would have experienced the same type of feelings, you know, if things aren't going well for you or... Um, just how to react to, to disappointments because you're going to have disappointments over a, the course of a season and it's just how you react and I think you can just kind of bring them experiences of being through it before. I think it shows how highly people rate them. You know, the fact that they've been so confident to put him in and he's played a full season in the Championship and, and managed to get out of the league um, and he's also played in the Premier League. So, from our perspective, like you say, at his age, with the experience he's already sort of got, um, that winning mentality in terms of understanding what it takes to get out of the division, I think they're ingredients that we're looking to add to the squad. Yeah, from the phone calls, it's, it's a really exciting project. Um, obviously a great manager as well, so um, yeah, really excited to, to work alongside him. Um, I think that feeling and buzz of getting promoted is, is great. Um, it's something you want to, to do again, so um, yeah, it's great, great to have another fresh opportunity to, to try and hopefully achieve something great this season. Um, yeah, and I'll give give a hundred percent to try and get that feeling again, and and um, yeah, be up there come come next May. First of all, he's won he's won the championship, um, and part of our criteria when we we're looking at goalkeepers was was their experience in the championship, and obviously he's been successful, so um, that was a key one. Um, he he kept quite a few clean sheets. I think it was twenty and forty six games, um, and he also got the golden glove. So. You know, that alone um, showed he's got uh, what we require as an experience to, to come and play at this level at this football club. I, th I think the average age of a Premier League goalkeeper making his debut is 24. Um, so he's, he's surpassed that. Um, and to come up with, um, with a trophy already at that age, I think um, that shows something about his mentality um, and his strength of character and, and, um, and his desire to, to win football matches and keep the ball out the back of the net. I'm here to, to improve as a keeper. Uh, still quite young, so... Um, yeah, I love love everything about goalkeeping. Um, so yeah, everything that I'll try and bring to Stoke, shot stop and coming for crosses and and distribution is something that I want to work on everything and, and keep progressing as as a goalkeeper. Um, and excited to to be able to show that and prove myself at this at this massive club. I think the biggest thing for goalkeepers for me is try and keep the ball at the net. Do you know what I mean? It's <laughs> as simple as that. So, but he's a great shot stopper. He's a big lad. He can get down. He's agile. He's quick. Um, he's good with the, feet, uh, the ball at his feet as well, which is pleasing because um, sometimes you maybe need to sort of um, gain in one aspect and maybe lose on another. But I think he's a well-rounded goalkeeper. I think he's still got bits to learn, but I'm sure um, with game time here he'll, he'll get better and better as the season goes on. The thing is with Ireland is that we have three young uh, keepers similar age and, and they're all top quality and he, he's fighting it out with them. But I think if you look at Mark over the season when uh, Bournemouth played in the championship and got promoted. I think he was excellent that season. Um, I, th I don't know if he kept the most clean sheet, so he might have been pipped towards the end, but he was up there um, and he had, a, he had an excellent season with them. His best qualities, um, I would probably say with the ball at his feet, I think he's brilliant with the ball at his feet. I remember with Ireland, he joined in the, uh, with one of the possession games and I don't think he gave the ball away. <laughs> I think sort of the relentlessness of, of the championship is a lot of games um, and not being too disheartened by some bad results or bad games because there's always one around the corner and refocusing on that and going again um, yeah, and enjoying, enjoying the football because through the whole season there's ups and downs and if if you get through the downs it, it makes the, the highs a lot easier so um, yeah so just just go into every game with a positive mindset and try and do the best we can and, uh, and as I said hopefully be up there towards the end of the season.